the audio chance. Now today we're going to turbocharge a laptop. In this case it is the XPS 15 9500 and we're going to juice it up, yes, with an RTX 3080. Yes, Nvidia's latest, well I can't say it's the greatest because they do have the 3090 but pretty much as good as it gets in terms of, you know, graphics cards. So we're going to juice up this XPS 15, whack an eGPU on it. We'll see how this graphics card performs on this laptop. I have actually used it on an Ultrabook as well. If you want to see the results of that, let me know in the comments there. So lucky me, Queenie, thank you. <laughs> Azus sent out this RTX 3080. And this is their tough variant, which is actually along the lines of their entry level models. But the thing about this tough RX 380 is, it's like one of the better ones. Many people have reviewed it and they're saying like, this is one of the better RTX 3080s and it's like entry level for Azus so you can imagine what the Strix is going to be like if the tough version is this good and with this you know you get backplate you get a dual BIOS so you have a silent mode and a gaming mode which is completely useless on this because its gaming mode is silent anyway or virtually silent you won't really hear it in your case it's very quiet for a graphics card and what it's doing like 62 degrees what in performance mode and it has hdmi 2.1 two of them and this is entry level right it has two hdmi 2.1s not many have that so if you can get your hands on a 3080 this is a good way to go and if you want to be a baller go get the strix version which is the one i want come on let me get a strix version anyway let's see how this performs on the xps 15. now if you've got a baller gaming laptop like the scar 15 which i just reviewed you want to check that out because that thing's a chart topper well it's sort of makes no sense to have an eGPU maybe unless you want to do 4k I was actually really surprised how the RTX 3080 and an eGPU performed at 4k wait for those results in a sec generally if you're gaming you've got a baller laptop like the SCAR 15 just forget about it eGPU is not for you but on an XPS 15 with a 1650 Ti it can make a big difference so let's go through these things here so first of all we'll get into content creation then we'll go to gaming so 4k sample project h.264 to h.264 and as you can see there we're getting a nice like exactly one minute you know performance uplift here with the eGPU and the 3080 now if you ever look at the other times like surface book and other laptops you can see once you have like a 2060 and you get the new nvenc encoder you're going to have faster performance and I think that's basically down to the NVENC encoder here because as you can see the Surface Book 3 is faster but that has a 1660 and it has newer NVENC encoder compared to the 1650 Ti and that's where you get the performance with the eGPU there so now let's get into Puget System Photoshop benchmark on the left is the stock XPS 15 on the right is the one with the RTX 3080 eGPU as you can see virtually stuff all difference right you're getting a slightly higher GPU score with the RTX 3080 and general score yeah a little bit faster and the filter score as well so tiny bit faster but really would you buy a new gpu for that sort of performance difference i don't think so now let's get into Puget system after effects benchmark and on the left is the stock one rtx 3080 gpu on the right and as you can see here there is a slight difference now okay so you go to the tracking score render score ram preview score and yes it is all faster but have a look at the gpu score it's like slower so yeah that's weird isn't it the rtx 3080 lower gpu score than the 1650 ti just shows you the bottleneck there i guess of the eGPU. still here i wouldn't bother with an eGPU or a 3080 in this case so now let's get into the one that had the biggest difference we have the puget system premiere pro benchmark on the left of course stock one on the right the 3080 eGPU. now big difference here right 440 versus 535 of course if i had like an 8 core xps 15 and 32 gigs i could get even higher scores because this one does have the stock 10750h so that's the 6 core and it only has 16 gigs of ram but all the tests were done on the same machine so it is like for like here have a look at the export score big difference there 40 to 49 or 49.5 and gpu score 29.5 versus 63 big difference there and i could notice it going through the actual benchmark the drop frame indicator was green more of the time with the 3080 now you can see their playback score big boost as well so when it comes to premiere pro eGPU RTX 3080 all right so you're not going to get the best performance out of that 3080 like compared to what it would be in a desktop but that's a significant boost there now let's get into some gaming 
as you'll see here 9938 with the XPS 15 stock and then you put that eGPU on it it's 18757 and that doesn't seem like much and yeah I don't know what's going on there because if I actually put a Radeon 7 it's actually 22000 and you can see there it's sort of well short of some of those gaming laptops so that's the bottleneck of the eGPU there now let's get into DSX Mankind Divided and I tested at 4K and at Full HD with the eGPU in the middle is the stock score on the left hand side is eGPU 4K and on the right hand side is eGPU Full HD so as you can see there you're getting what 35 frame boost at Full HD high settings with the eGPU and at 4K interestingly 39 fps so you can see there having a 3080 doesn't even compare to some of the gaming laptops right at 1080p but if you went to 4k it looks good so it seems to be with the eGPU the higher the resolution the better i guess because 4k 39 fps i mean i reckon some of those gaming laptops would struggle at that sort of 4k resolution so Playable at 4K there, not worth it probably at Full HD and this trend will continue with all the benchmarks. Go to GTA 5 and you can see there a eh, modest boost with the FPS on Full HD and with 4K, 95 FPS, wolf, that's pretty cool. You'll be able to play GTA 5 at 4K but still even with a 3080 GPU you still can't beat the gaming laptops at Full HD. So yeah that is what it is if we go to PUBG, pretty much the same thing there you can see at 4k still 72 fps at 4k that's really good of course that's with the eGPU and at full hd you get that little bit of a boost with the eGPU still well short of the gaming laptop so that's not surprising i guess some of you actually probably would have thought i put a 3080 connected to eGPU xps 15 i'll be able to beat a gaming laptop well not at full hd at least now let's get into witcher as you'll see there with the eGPU full hd you get a nice boost it's not nearly double right full hd so this is one of the rare ones where you're getting quite a lot of difference there. Still not matching the gaming laptops as you can see there at Full HD. But you go to 4K and Wolf, 77 FPS at 4K Witcher. You can play on an XPS 15 if you have a 3080. And lastly we'll go into Battlefield. And what I can see here is virtually stuff all difference with an eGPU at Full HD. As you can see, 76 versus 79. But at 4K, a playable 51 frames per second with Battlefield. So that's pretty good. So what I'd say here with gaming, if you're happy at playing 60 FPS high settings, there's no need for an eGPU with an XPS 15. Even with a high refresh rate monitor, you can see the frames don't really get up there at high full HD to really take an advantage of a high refresh monitor. But if you wanted to game at higher resolutions, maybe with the 4K display internal or external, you can see you're getting playable gaming at 4K with this 3080 eGPU and the XPS 15. Otherwise, I don't think it's worth it. For content creation, will depend on what you're doing. I'll show you one thing here. Let's have a look at the stock Luxmark. You can see 9,329. Wow, that's okay, I guess. Now let's go to a Radeon 7. 48,000 on Luxmark. So if you're doing like 3D rendering and stuff like that, an eGPU can make a huge difference. 48 versus whatever, 9,000. But then you go to the 3080 and have a look at this. 70,942. Wow. That's a big uplift. So there will be things where an eGPU really makes sense. If you have a look at the fire strike score again, and you look, yeah, 18,757. It's really not that much with a 3080. A 3080 stock in a desktop can do about 42,000. Wow. So anyway, catch you in the next one, guys. Tally ho.